I mean, solving inequality, it's just like solving an equation. Uh, I want to get what x is. So I want to take away 5 from both sides. And that will say that 6x is uh, greater than 23, 25 is 18. And uh, now I want to get rid of the 6 times. So I divide both sides by 6. And that will give me that x, just keep that sign coming down, x is greater than 3. That's my answer. Ooh x is greater than 3. Rearrange this to make r the subject, that means I need to have r equals. What I always like doing is switching it around so the r bit is on the left hand side to start off with. So I get 3r minus 7 equals p and then I want to uh, get just so the r on the own so I need to get rid of the minus 7 so I'm going to add 7 to both sides. And a nice thing about rearranging a formula I don't actually have to work anything out because I can just write down p plus 7. Don't forget when you do the inverse operation it will just vaporize the number. So I had minus 7, inverse operation is add 7, and just vaporized all that. And now we can do the same thing here. I want 3 times, so I need to divide both sides by 3. When I do the inverse of r multiply by 3, divide by 3, I'll vaporize the 3 and it'll just leave me with 1r. And then I have to do p plus 7 divided by 3. And don't forget, putting it over something means divide. And that's 2 done.